So we're taking a look at uh, using the ePlan Support Center to create tickets. Uh, so there's a number of ways that we can do that. So if we open ePlan, you have to add in the settings your user information. And once you've added that user information in there, this is a great way to actually create a ticket because it allows us to um, have some extra information available to us when we're doing support about what version you have, what build number you have, um, a small information about the Windows environment. Is it Windows 10? What build number? That sort of thing. So if we want to create a ticket, again, we go to the backstage view and go to the help. And we go to support and updates and we can create a support request. So you see here's the information that it that it adds. And the, so once the username and password is entered, let's select the login and it takes us basically straight to the new ticket. So again, uh, you can put exactly the same information in. Uh, And as you see, it also pulls in your ePlan information, the version and the build number. So there's less for you to do. And again, you just submit. And it goes through the same process, uh, offering the ability to search for a knowledge base, maybe help yourself and find an answer before, uh, straight away. Uh, but we'll go back to the ticket and you can again attach files, um, look for knowledge articles again, or add any more comments. So that's adding a ticket either direct from the ePlan website or from within the uh, ePlan itself. And as you see, we've got the, the ticket numbers here. So we can go and look at the different tickets that we have And if we're finished, if we have an answer and we're happy, uh, we can obviously go and close the ticket. Remember always to log out uh, when you're complete. So there we go.